As time goes by, our memories can disappear, but they can last forever as photos. Today, we will talk about a semiconductor that helps our memories last forever. An image sensor is a semiconductor that stores and transmits image signals to allow for images taken to be viewed through a display device. An image sensor converts image data received through a camera lens into a digital signal. The image sensor works in the same way as the human eye. Just as the human eye transmits visual information received through the eyes to the brain through the optic nerve, image sensors convert light into digital signals which are transmitted to a mobile processor. When we take photos with our smartphones, some say, photos look really good on this phone, or photos aren't that great on that phone. One of the important factors that decide the quality of photos is the number of pixels of the image sensor. You must have heard of words like 200 megapixels or 108 megapixels. First, megapixel indicates the resolution. 200 megapixels means that there are 200 million pixels in the image sensor. Pixel is the smallest unit in an image. If you keep zooming in on a photo taken with a smartphone, at some point you will see it is made up of tiny square dots. Each dot is a pixel. The more pixels there are, the more precise and detailed the image will be. The more pixels there are, the higher resolution images you'll be able to take. When you compare an image with 100 dots to an image with 1,000 dots, the one with more pixels looks clearer. However, mounting cameras in limited space require smaller sensors, and often this leads to reduced pixel count and lower resolution images. If the sensor gets bigger with more pixels, the camera module size gets bigger too. Therefore, to have ultra-high pixel image sensors in a limited space, the pixel size had to be reduced. Reducing the pixel size was a big challenge itself, but another challenge was encountered once the pixel size was reduced. It caused the light to leak into the adjacent pixels, which is a phenomenon called interference. Or, each pixel absorbed less light, which led to higher noise in low light settings. But to solve these problems, Samsung Electronics developed isocell technology to reduce light interference with an isolated wall between pixels and pixel binning technology to absorb more light. If you want to learn more about these technologies, you can click the link above. What is the maximum number of pixels that image sensors in smartphone cameras can present? Recently, an image sensor with more than 200 megapixels was developed. Thanks to constant innovation of the image sensor, we can take DSLR camera level pictures with our smartphones. Also, the major applications for image sensors have been in the smartphone field, but this is expected to expand soon into other rapidly emerging fields such as autonomous vehicles, AI, and more. We are determined to open up endless possibilities in pixel technologies that might even deliver image sensors that can capture more detail than the human eye. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.